What's up everyone, this is Chris, or C Beats, or CB, whatever. I'm back with another one of these videos. As always, I hate these camera talking video type things, but uh, everyone wants me to make another one of these, and the last one I did was like two years ago. So, we're back with the pop punk emo rock type stuff, breaking down how to do it. Let's go. Alright, so we're here in Logic, as always. All the guitars I recorded direct through the Apollo Twin X. I think last time I did this I had a Scarlet, so a little bit better. I started out here with just a clean melody, clean tone, using the uh, Telecaster right here. So, single coils obviously, nice clean tone. The tone's pretty simple, pretty much just a clean tone from STL Tone Hub, a little bit of reverb, delay, obviously some EQ. After that I took the same clean tone, tweaked the EQ a little bit, and then did just pretty much a palm mute progression. Obviously using the same progression as the original melody. And then a little bit of sample delay, so it's kind of like double tracking, but since it's a palm mute, I like not double tracking it as much so that the left and right pan is pretty similar. Just a little bit off so it gives you a nice stereo spread. Right now we're pretty much just building the verse. Next thing I did is same palm mute progression but did it with a distorted tone so we're building a little bit of tension as it goes on. Next I started to add the drums in. I'm using MIDI drums. I think this kit's called like the Sour Candy Pop Punk Kit or something. I kind of forget, it's in my sampler. It's a really good kit. One thing too, the bass, I also use a MIDI bass, which some people probably think it's cheating, but it's whatever. I basically just take the raw bass sound from Ample Bass, I think it is, and then run it through the amp sim, do some progression and all that kind of stuff. Uh, sounds realistic enough for me, I don't know. I don't think anyone really notices it too much. I'm not gonna lie, I actually did record the hook to this first and then went and did the verse part. I probably should say that just so this next part makes sense. I took the original power chord and octave progression from the, from the hook, filtered it. I think I did it through maybe a little bit of a different tone, a little different amp sim, but overall just took the same progression of a basic distorted tone put a high pass low pass filter on it and did a little bit of automation on that so that it kind of gives it a rise as we get closer to the hook Right before we transition to the hook, I do a little bit of a mute transition with the drum. Pretty simple, just muting the strings and picking. I'm sure you hear it in a lot of songs. Now on to the hook, the chorus, whatever. So I'm starting off with our progression, same thing as before. Distorted tone from STL Tone Hub, John Feldon pack, I think. Recorded it twice, double tracked it. I know some bands quad track and stuff like that, but that's just a little too much for me. <laughs> Next we got the octave, 
So it just kind of harmonizes with the power chords. I recorded it once, but double tracked it with two different amp sims, one from Tone Hub and one from uh, Guitar Rig 6. So again, it's still double tracking. It's the same audio clip, but since the amp sim's different, the tone is different on the left and right sides and it gives it a stereo feel. So when we add that all together with the bass and the drums, the drums on the hook obviously got more cymbal usually, we come together with something like this. On the second half of the hook we add in a lead, not anything too crazy and not even anything that's really pushed too hard in terms of the leveling, but just something to give it a little bit of a different feel on the second half of the hook. The second verse, pretty much the same thing as the first verse. I tweaked the drum fills a little bit just so it, you know, has a little bit of variation. We go into the second verse, then the hook again. Then on the bridge, this was probably one of my lazier bridges, but it's all right. I basically just took the distorted palm mute, the clean palm mute, and the clean melody from the verse, put that all together, and the bass, put kind of a little subtle solo on top of it. It's probably not my best work, but uh, it is what it is. In, a, in the very common way, on the first part of that last hook, transitioning from the bridge, I basically just took a clean power chord and a clean-ish, slightly distorted octave and power chord. Then from right there we have just a really simple kind of drum fill type thing, and then we go back into what the hook normally was. That's pretty much it. Threw in those kind of cymbal sweeps and obviously the drums have little little nuanced things here and there, but not overly complicated, pretty basic parts. I'm not really a guitar whiz or anything like that, but all you gotta do is know how to put each piece together and you can come up with something cool. That's all I got for you. If you wanna hear the full thing, go to the description. I got the link to it posted on the other video. I'm not even gonna bother just playing the thing in full here, but yeah, let me know what kind of stuff you want to see next, and that's it.